Welcome to Hoarders, Hot Girl Summer Edition. Ouch. Hello and welcome to Laugh Cry DIY. I'm Katie and I've never said my name on this channel before. It's hot and it's about to get hotter because it's California and it's summer and today we are doing a very exciting patio makeover. Today I am in the backyard of an old friend, a dear friend, and my favorite cam girl, Jake Kilroy. Thanks for having me, Katie. Thanks for being here and being out of frame because you're a giant. Hello, YouTube. So Jake, why did you ask me over today to make over your patio? Because you invited yourself over. Jake is so lucky because he has French doors in his house that open onto a beautiful, lush green backyard, but he has chosen to make it trash. I chose trash, I live trash, I love trash. So Jake's patio opens out into this beautiful space and he was fortunate enough to inherit some furniture from his grandmother, Arlene. Aww. Anything you wanna say about this patio furniture? Uh, I have a lot of good memories of this patio furniture in an entirely different backyard and uh, it'll be cool to actually give it a second life uh, here with my friends and family. So we are gonna work with the existing patio furniture, but we are going to give it a new, fresh layout. We are going to DIY some stuff. We are going to turn this patio into a beautiful outdoor living space so that this boy can enjoy hot girl summer because boys can be hot girls too. Step one, we are going to clear all of this out, clean it out, and we can start with a beautiful blank canvas. However, I was recently attacked by a bear. And by bear, I mean bicycle. And therefore, my hand and my arm and most of me cannot work today. So Jake has kindly offered his height and his hands. I'm gonna sit back and I'm gonna bark orders at Jake. And that's great because barking orders at people is my sexuality. Is it challenging to sweep as a tall person because you're so far from the ground? Uh, it is not great on your back, but it's okay because in theory, it means I'm able to dunk, but I can't. All right, so while Jake clears the patio, we are going to start our first DIY. Now, one thing that Jake has is a table, but he doesn't have a patio umbrella. So I did my magic and I got one second hand for super cheap, $25 for a base and an umbrella, really cheap. It's a light cream color. And the problem with patio umbrellas is that they are often either very boring and bland or they're very like 90s super soaker, rainbow blast. We wanna do a little bit of a sophisticated patio umbrella. Guess what? We're doing a black and white pattern. So to make these stripes, I am simply going to measure every six inches and then I'm gonna tape off every other six inches. This is very tedious, but it will be worth it in the end. Ran out of painter's tape, so I switched to packing tape. Ran out of packing tape, so I'm switching to wrapping paper and scotch tape for the last like two stripes. All right, it's three hours later, I've taped off everything and now it's time to spray paint. How much did you get? I got four. Let's go tag our names. Okay, this is the moment of truth where we find out whether this idea worked or not. How do you feel, Jake? I'm very excited, Katie. And anything that looks like black overspray is actually um, dirt that already existed there, okay? Oh my God. It looks amazing. Most of it looks amazing. <laughs> I'm gonna start hanging our beautiful patio lights to give us the lighting glow ambiance that we all deserve in summertime. By the way, Jake is a vegan. So if you make those little jokes that like, oh, vegans can't do anything, they're too weak to do anything. 
It's obviously true. <laughs> it's not true. I did 10 push-ups two months ago. <laughs> also, this wood is extremely <laughs> not okay. Dude, this is just made of <laughs> Pop-Tarts. Flowers still falling? Are you serious? My sister and I were home alone once. This dude came to our house, dressed pretty much as Dick Van Dyke from Mary Poppins. And he had a business card. He was an actual chimney sweep. His name is Jimney Sweep. Never ever saw that dude again. No one had ever heard of him. Super weird. Now there is nothing I love more than a game time decision. And we were out here earlier, as you saw, it was so bright, so hot. And Jake wanted a way to shade the patio without putting a tarp on or something. Then I remembered Daiso, the Japanese dollar store, carries reed shade blind fencing stuff. Ouch. This is like $4 each. So we are going to do the whole ceiling. Jake is up on the roof, tacking down the bamboo. How do you feel, Jake? Honestly, pretty f***ing rad. <laughs> Alrighty, it is finally time to place furniture and the goal of today's project is to make Jake's patio feel like an outdoor living room. So we are going to change some placement. We are going to put the table into the far corner. We're gonna make a main conversation pit in the center of it and it's gonna be cool. Since we're trying to make an outdoor living space, we want it to feel warm and cozy. And what is the answer to that? Obviously, it's a rug. Are you even a DIY and decor person if you don't do this? Iconic rug shot. <laughs> okay. Jake didn't want a ton of crazy color. He didn't want like a Palm Springs rainbow extravaganza. So I really tried to temper myself and create a neutral -er color scheme. So we went with blue because it's a very masculine color and we wanted to bring some brightness to this backyard, but without being um, obnoxious and tacky. So blue. Should I just move it? Do, yeah, like, just do whatever you want, Jake. I might as well not be here. The hell do you need me for? <laughs> now we play the game where we put furniture in every possible place. Oh, and by the way, did you think the rug was cute? It's 2021 and we are not a one rug household. Okay, honey, it's called layering. It's called texture. Google it, baby. We're doing two rugs. Oh, it's just like the change when I'm working out. We have chosen an orientation of the rug and of the coffee table, but maybe you don't get to see everything. All right, we're not giving the goods away for free, but we always do. <laughs> like and subscribe, babe. I'm dead out of my goddamn mind. Now, of course, we want it to feel nice and beautiful and lush and cozy out here. And one of the best ways to brighten up your backyard is to bring in more greenery. Throw a tree on it or two. Okay, you need to name your trees. It's very important to commune with nature. Do you have, what is her name? What is their name? Tree Arthur. Tree Arthur. Second tree, Jake, what is its name? Billy Tree Williams. What is Billy Tree Williams? Uh, Billy, D, Billy D. Williams, he played Lando Calrissian in the Star Wars franchise. Except for when Donald Glover played the young him in Solo. Wow. There you go, nerds. There's your trick. They're each wired, right. so they can each be curled down. <laughs> I swear to God. So you can create a more lush bouquet. This Billy D. Billy... Billy Tree Williams. Billy Tree Williams. Triance. Tregan Michael Key. Tregan and Sarah. Booker Tree Washington. That's a great one. So when I designed this little layout, I wanted to use the ottomans that go with the sitting chairs as kind of a bench, because I thought that would be nice to like square off the conversation pit. But of course you need a little table if you're sitting on the little baby benches. So you guys might recognize this 
a little cutie from a previous episode linked above. Boom. Oh my God, this lighting, no. Hot girl bummer. <laughs> Okay, the lighting's really bad, but we're trying to figure out, I want to do a hanging pendant light over our beautiful little coffee table. And you guys also might recognize these from a previous episode. Are they dollar store hula skirts over thrifted lampshades? Absolutely they are. Jake is tall enough to be an actual lamp. <laughs> it's my so dream. So this is great. So we are trying to measure and see if we want to do both. If we want to do one, what do we want to do for scale? Jake says he likes this one, this cute little feminine little ball gown girl. And that really says a lot about Jake. And I like him. curves. <laughs> I literally was gonna say it shows that Jake's a feminist. This is your favorite uh, makeover you've ever done? It's my favorite makeover that I've done with my friends um, named Jake. I think that's cute. Not sorry, these look dope. These are so cool. Jake, do you know what time it is? Is it pillow time? I was gonna say textiles time, but pillow time sounds funner. One of the biggest challenges I had was I wanted to do lanterns. I wanted four lanterns. I wanted them to be solar and I wanted them to be maybe $5 each. I went to the 99 cent store. I went to thrift stores. I went everywhere trying to find an object that I could make into a big gold lantern with a cute detail. And then I found something so brilliant, you guys. I made gold lanterns out of placemats, okay? This is such a genius hack. Get little plant pot holders on Amazon wrap your placemats in a circle and then you can clip the little light bulb in the middle. Now, hands down, one of the coolest things I found is these simple little hanging solar light bulbs. So we're gonna hang these on a bunch of lanterns. Um, get this out. Any thoughts? <laughs> <laughs> My thought is, I hate this. I hate this. <laughs> now, of course, in a backyard, even in Southern California, you might get a little chilly. So you do want a beautiful lush blanket, but where are you gonna store it? I got this cute little basket and this was a 99 cent store like photo frame thing. This is this, this is the same thing I used as the tabletop for the table over there. And I just contact papered it, which is like a basket weave kind of thing. And now we can put a cute blanket inside and put this right on top you have a little serving table. Isn't that cute? Yes. Okay. Let's just see you. Yeah, you look like a bear. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to my injured hand? Remember that, Jake? Well, I was trying to get a good angle. Did she go? F***ing unreal. All right, it's day two. We worked really hard yesterday. Today we put the final touches on everything. Jake called over his boys and we are ready to reveal the space to Jake and his boys. So let's see what they think. All right guys, are you ready? One, two, three. Oh my God. Whoa, Holy dude. All right, guys, that was today's episode. Jake, what do you think of your makeover? I'm insanely happy, and I think everyone should hire you, Katie, and like and subscribe and follow you like some sort of cult leader. Listen to Jake Kilroy. Cheers! Cheers. <laughs>